Hey, what's up everybody? Chris here, and today I want to talk about Google Stadia. Hey, if you're enjoying the content, if you like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Please be sure to subscribe. You can find me on Twitter at Dr. Chris Flowers, and I look forward to talking with you there. So it seems like over the past week, Google Stadia has taken a lot of flack. News broke that they're essentially closing down any sort of exclusive games that were in development and shutting down the services, but Stadia itself is not shutting down. It continues to operate as a service. And it seems like a lot of people have taken sort of that news to reflect their opinion that Stadia is an awful thing and that it needs to die a horrible death. It seems as soon as Stadia was announced as a thing, people sort of issued judgment on it and have decided that it should no longer be a thing, that it should totally shut down. I think right from the outset, a lot of people did not like the idea of Stadia because they don't like the idea of cloud gaming and that service model as it exists. And I can understand that. People like to have their games physically. They like to know that they own something, even though, interestingly, you know, digital sales really seem to be on the rise. People are buying their games for things like the PlayStation and the Xbox and even the Switch digitally because of the convenience of it. But people don't like, don't like the idea that the service could shut down and therefore you lose all of your content. You lose your games. I can absolutely understand that perspective, but I would sort of counter that with sort of offering that my take on Stadia is that it's really offering something for people who can't afford to go out and buy the very latest PC uh, with the highest specs, the latest game console, or whatever it may be that they're after to get sort of that latest gaming uh, fix. It gives them an option to play new games at high settings with really high quality without having to invest in the hardware. So in that regard, I think Stadia is actually a really great thing. If you've never tried it, I would just say this, you know, don't knock it till you rock it, as the saying goes. My experience with Stadia has been a very positive one. Now, I have a good internet connection, right? I have AT&T fiber, it's 300 megabits or megabods or whatever the appropriate terminology is. It's fast, it's reliable, and I really haven't had any major issues with Stadia. When I first got it and first started using it, sometimes there would be a little bit of input lag, sometimes there would be a little bit of a connectivity issue, but for the most part, I think Google has done a really good job of ironing out those issues and making the service run fluidly, and in some cases flawlessly in my experience, which is probably what they envisioned it being. So I think what this all comes down to for me is sort of this question of, you know, why do people want Stadia to go away? Again, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that people don't like cloud gaming and the idea of cloud gaming, even though, in my opinion, that is the future. You know, for a lot of people, we may not be there yet when it comes to your internet connection that you have at home, but eventually, we are not going to have these boxes. These boxes are going to go away. They're not going to be a thing forever. When that happens, I think a lot of people are going to look back on Stadia as being sort of the first step toward that for better or worse. So again, my take on Stadia is it's just another way for people to play a game without having to invest a lot of money in hardware. A good example of this, I think, is Cyberpunk. I've seen a lot of people online make the argument that if you don't have a high-end PC, which most people don't, most people have probably a mid-tier PC, if you want to play a game like Cyberpunk, Stadia is the best option you've got for that. I played Cyberpunk on my PlayStation 5. It was a mostly good experience, but it was glitchy. It wasn't optimized. I know that's coming down the road. We're not quite there yet for the console versions of these on both the Series X uh, and I guess the Series S potentially and the PS5. But Stadia has got a really nice sort of corner niche thing going with that where you get a PC version of the game. It may not be maxed out, but it's going to be a relatively uh, bug-free experience when compared to some of the other options that are out there. That's not to say that it's flawless, but again, I think that this illustrates the worth that something like Stadia brings to the market. It's competition, and competition is a good thing. Competition makes companies do better and be better and grow in what they can offer their customers. Sure, Stadia is not a perfect service, right? I think it would be much better served uh, acting like a Netflix for gaming where you pay a monthly fee, you get access to big budget games. I'm sure the money that's involved with that isn't you know, something that's feasible given how much it costs to sort of make these games, at least quite yet. They haven't figured out that model. I can understand why people are hesitant to pay $60 or even $70, whatever the case may be, for a big budget game on Stadia, knowing that in the future it could shut down and go away. But I think if they revamp that service a little bit, Stadia could really come into its own as a service that a lot of people want to jump into and experience and appreciate. Again though, out of all the streaming services that I've tried, and I've tried GeForce Now, I've tried xCloud, 
I've tried Stadia. Stadia is far and away the most seamless, most fluid, most solid uh, experience that I've had. Minimal input lag. It even has uh, an achievement and trophy system embedded in it. It's got an easy to understand interface. Literally, you can open up Google Chrome and start playing a game. So I think the dream of cloud gaming as it's going to exist in the future is sort of taking its first steps in Stadia as it exists today. So again, I'm coming to the defense of Stadia because I think it is a great service. I know it's not for everybody. I'm a little bit confused sometimes when I see people wanting it to die a horrible death. I think it offers something uh, for a lot of people who don't want to invest in hardware. And I would say this, give it a shot. If you've never tried it, try playing a game on Stadia and see what you think about it after having done that. So this is just my opinion, of course, and I'm sure I'm going to catch some flack for this, but I don't necessarily think that people have fully thought about all the different benefits that come along with services like Stadia. And I think it's worth sort of advocating for their presence because of all the good that it does in terms of offering different options for people to play games. Let me know what you think. Do you think Stadia is a terrible thing and it instantly needs to go away? If you've played Stadia, do you like it? Do you think it's worthwhile? Do you think it should stick around? I'd love to hear your opinion. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Again, you can find me on Twitter if you want to talk about it there. As always, thanks for watching and I'll have some new content on the way soon.